guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 23 of Healing Good Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, you're probably wondering why in the world this is coming out on, like, why I decided to record today. I was really tired last night, um, after I had finished recording all of my shows, and I was like, well, Healing comes out of, like, 8.30. And I'm probably not going to get the file for it um, from Jan until like 9, 10 o'clock. And it's, I think it didn't get in. I, I think I didn't get in until 11. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I was like, I am way too sleepy. And I was like, yeah, we're just going to wait until today. So just for this week's episode. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I mean, like, not, that's cute to her. <laughs> it's okay, me. Mm-hmm. Come here, baby. Good boy. Good boy. I got you. Oh, me. She tried. Thank you, puppy. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Are you comfortable? <laughs> you want to go lay down on my bed? There you go. Tell me about that. But, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I was just really tired. And I was like, I wanted to do it. Like, believe me, I did. But I was like, I, I really don't have any energy. I'm ready to go to sleep <laughs> and worry about it. So yeah, just for today, next Saturday you'll have, well, next Sunday, it'll be already recorded and out early by 11 o'clock. Well, you don't have to be a dick about it. Well, 
yeah, but still. Mm. Ah! Oh. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just instantly know. Look at the puppy! Did you see puppy? Puppy! Puppy! Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. That's what we should do, Cody. We should take you to the dog park. I don't know how you would feel around other dogs. I mean, you know, when I walk him, he wants to be like the big tough boy that he is. <laughs> he didn't lose kitty cat. But when it comes to cats, like he will try and I'll be like, no. You would think that because before we had him, because he, he was still living with his sister, that he would be, you know, accepting and kind. I mean, he is kind, but sometimes he's like, you know, no, like, mm, I'm tough dog. <laughs> You may not get it now, and that's okay. This episode is gonna literally teach you, babe. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. No! Mm hmm. So you're going to tell me um, Latte is going to be sick in like nine minutes, possibly? Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. oh my God, he's so cute.
Yeah, there is no bad looking dog. They're all adorable. <laughs> Possibly. Not at first, though. Oh. Because he was scared. Cody was too. Honestly. So my mom, myself, and my aunt think that he was possibly, not the people that we got him from, but the people before who had him. Um, that gave him away to the owners that got him after we did, uh, possibly abused him. So he's very, like, shaky around certain people. But then eventually he warms up to them. Unlike me, when I got him, I, like, literally had him with me almost, like, 24-7. I'm the one who takes care of him the most. Oh, oh, that was a little too hard. Because you were a little too forceful. I mean, it just, you know. Mm. Okay, so it took 12 minutes for Latte to be sick. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm following a Twitter page that is literally paying attention to how long it takes for Latte to get sick. So I want some water now. You would think that as of this episode, maybe they're going to wait a couple more weeks. I still love seeing the full transformation <laughs> for me, but I feel like there's going to be a point in time where they are going to cut it down because, I mean, come on, it's a beautiful transformation. I, I don't know how in the world they're going to cut it down to make it shorter, like, because it seems like it's, what, maybe under a minute? So they probably would make it like 30 seconds, maybe 13. So I don't know how the hell they're going to do that, though. I mean, they've done it for Sailor Moon, and they've done it for almost every other Pretty Cure series, so they can do it now. <laughs> yeah, take 
You're a Mm-hmm. Get the take all the puppies. Now is he just gonna come like a yeah mm -hmm. the head of a car? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, seeing corn as the villain of the week makes me want corn, and we do have corn. That makes three. Oh, you puppy. No, 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 no.
I'll be done in a couple of minutes. This is the best episode ever. Mm -hmm. Puppies! <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh my god. But because I love dogs so freaking much, like, oh. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. You know how sometimes. This is me with every anime. When there's an anime <laughs> that I watch. And we have an animal in it. And 50 out of 50, when it is a dog, I get more excited about it. Whether it's for even the whole series or just, like, an episode. But, like, even having a moment where we got to meet someone else as for an animal this week. I loved it. I loved the fact that she got to learn about what cute means and being loyal to a pet and having a pet as a friend. Like, oh, my God. Uh <laughs> I'm a mess. He, he, he was so cute. I hate the fact that we're not going to see him again. We may even see him in like the last few episodes of the show because typically sometimes they like to bring characters that you know they've interacted with throughout the series, which would be good because he's just fucking cute. Oh my god. Mm, doesn't have a cognitive. But it was a sweet episode. Oh my god. Like them going to the dog park and everything. And that just makes me hungry. Hmm? Oh, she's a, um. What is the word? I can't remember the word not a neurologist she she's someone who does research and searches up ish for the forest that's the it's a word i know the word it's on the tip of my freaking tongue but i cannot remember the word um it's something that like a lot of my friends wanted to be when they were growing up especially when you're into the science portion of things it seems like a very interesting career even though it's not really my forte but i think it's going to be really good but yeah I mean, this was a very interesting episode for Umi and Hinata as characters and then establishing their relationship because let's talk about this. <laughs> we talked about this once and I'm going to talk about it again. Every time when a new cure comes in, it always feels like to me, and I, I'll even say Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure All the Mode kind of did this as well. Um, it's clicky. And they'll only have certain cures interact with other certain cures. They kind of did this with Star Twinkle. And so that's why I felt like not everybody has the best relationship, like going into each girl's relationship with them. So you have it with Hinata, Umi, Chio, and um, Nadoka. You have these four girls. You're getting to see relationships with each and every one of them. All three, I mean, all three. All four of them interacting with each other. Not where it's like, okay, here's two episodes, or here's an episode where it's just going to focus on one girl 
And then the one girl, whoever is getting that main focus, barely gets that like development with another character to establish more of the relationship or friendship bond that they have with each other. Because last week it was Umi and um, Chio, and this week it's Hinata and um, Umi, and next week could be Nadoka and Umi. And so I, I love the fact that they're doing that because, like I said, in my opinion, Star Trek Pretty Cure really didn't do that great in it because it felt like to me um Lala and Hinata were a thing never really had they had like a couple of moments with uh uni but not as to the point where by the time I finished the series I could say that they were like the best of friends even though like at the end of the series you typically see them as adults and like you'll see them come together at least one more time before the show officially ends and ish and, yeah, I mean, because, like, you know, I still have my problem, <laughs> my my issues with that show. And we've talked about that before. Um, they had, uh, I can't remember their names. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. Because, literally, these two were, like, my other two favorite characters besides Uni. Um, nope, I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to look at my phone. We're going to look at my phone because if I, I'm, like, I am spacing right now. Because I can't remember <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and this always happens to me i end up like usually almost a couple of months or maybe even a year after i end up forgetting everybody almost everybody's freaking names and it's funny because the girl who's in this in star twinkle she's in freaking my hero and so i always remember her as that but then she's in here what the frick is her name um now he can uh, la, la, la. elena elena and um madoka were a thing but they still had a relationship and established it with Uni, but it still felt like it was um, Hinata and Lala, Elena and Madoka, and then Uni was always by herself. And, and that was okay because Uni was so um, independent and on her own. We all get that. Th for this group, it's kind of like independence with uh, Umi, but she's far she's getting like... She's starting to learn that, you know, I can still be independent, but I can still, like, be with a group and establish a really deep connection, friendship with these girls and know that there is no I in team, <laughs> you know, because I got to do things together with them because eventually they are going to get their final one for the show and, the, and it's going to be the four of them using it together, just like with any other freaking series. But, like, I just love the fact that this episode went in on these two and having... Hina be like the mother figure for her because that's what it feels like for these last two episodes that two girls who really don't get that much you know screen time in my opinion from the 20 something episodes that we've been in because you know best girl Aoyuki was up in here like this is my show so I get to be the front the breadwinner um but like yeah I love it it's just so good because typically usually when the last year comes in the other two who are in the group or whoever usually is the blue and freaking yellow cures, they don't always get the screen time that you really want them to get. And so even though we're 23 episodes into this show and we're not at the halfway point yet, I think by next, in two weeks we will, um, and getting into the second half. That's kind of when, you know, once I get to the end of the series, we'll see if they'll still be able to get that, like, mm push to the front I'm just saying but we ain't really gonna know but yeah this was a really good episode and I loved it a lot but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode 23 of healing good pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join my squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Saturday Sunday for episode 24 bye guys